How do I get input from a console window inside of C Sharp? Well, to do this, let me demonstrate it through a console application. So I'll begin a new console application, we'll jump into the main method, and then we'll take a look at the method that is found within console, that is console.readline. As a matter of fact, let me jot some of that down, console.readline. And what this is going to do is it is actually going to return some information. As a matter of fact, if I hover over this or if I bring up the uh, info again, we see that this method, console.readline, returns a string. So what we're going to do is actually jump out to the beginning of it and say string input equals console.readline. That way we can store whatever input is gathered. So then once we have that input, we could turn around and do something with it. I'm just going to show it back to the screen. So I'm going to do a console write line, or I'll write out the text your input, and then we'll format the string, so I'll give element 0, and then f give the formatted value of input, and then I'll turn around and do another console read line, this time just to hold up execution so we can see what the result was. So now if I run the application, we see that the app is simply stopped with a uh, flashing cursor on a blank screen. Well, let's try it out. Let's put some input like 3D Buzz. If we hit enter, you see your input was 3D Buzz. Now we're actually waiting for a second line of input, which is serving us just to hold up execution. So if we hit enter and leave off, that ends the program. Now, if we'd like to make this a little bit more intuitive so that the user starts with some text as a prompt, as an actual prompt, we could do that with console.write. So I'm going to do console.write. You'll notice I'm using write instead of write line. This being so that we can have the text and the input cursor on the same line instead of on a subsequent line. So we could say something like write um, enter your name will be the input prompt. I'll add a space and then end off the double quotes. Then we run the read line, storing that in input and show what the input was. So we could say enter your name. Uh, to which I'll put Logan. We set your input was Logan, and that ends off the program. And the big thing about that is it made it look so much more presentable because you had the enter your name, or enter you name, <laughs> and then at the very end, the flashing uh, cursor waiting for input, as opposed to if we would have used a console.write line, it would have put the, uh, you're going to fix that, it would have put the cursor on the bottom. Right, so now as we enter the name, it's kind of disjointed. We see the prompt, but then it's at an odd location that we have to enter the input. Precisely. So it just looks nicer in this particular case to use console.write. But with that, that is going to wrap up everything that we wanted to show in this How Do I.